Okay, I'll call this uh, public hearing to order. Please stand for the pledge. Bruce, would you lead us in the pledge, please? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Kathy, roll, please. Cal? Here. Hayes? Barso? Here. Lee? Here. Tim? Here. Walter? Here. Carter? Here. Okay, we have a quorum present. Uh, the purpose of this meeting is to consider the following application. Code Amendment Application ZON-17-004, Patasco Planning and Zoning Commission is requesting to amend Patasco Code Chapter 1221, General Regulations Chapter 1203, Definitions and Chapter 1263, Old Town Patascala District. What do you got for me, Scott? Thank you, sir. Um, this code amendment is part of the Planning and Zoning Commission's or Department's ongoing um, process of updating the code to reflect um, what's on the fee schedule for permits. For example, when we did DEX, required a permit, but there was no regulations for that. So that's why we drafted the DEC regulations, which is the next one we have coming up is for demolitions. Right now there's a requirement for a demolition permit, but there are no regulations that outline how the demolition is to be handled, what qualifies for needing a demolition permit, et cetera. So what we did is in section 1203, there's a definition for demolition. Um, in 122106, that was added to the code, and that outlines uh, what requires a demolition <coughs> permit, the threshold for that, and the procedural um, requirements for what is expected during the demolition and after the demolition is completed. And the final one in 126303, that was something during our research through the code, because anytime we change something in the code, we always like to look throughout to make sure that we're not missing something that could create conflicting regulations later. Uh, we went through and updated that as well to reflect the regulations that would be in 122106. Um, I know in the past there was some <coughs> question as to where the 200 foot threshold came from. Uh, when the Planning and Zoning Department was looking for what's the basis, so for example, if you're gonna <coughs> demolish a house, definitely need need a permit. If it's an 8 by 10 shed in your backyard, you need a permit. So our thought was we need to establish a threshold that here's when a permit is required. Uh, for example, if you're building a deck at this point or a shed or an accessory building at 200 square feet in size, you're required to get a building permit through the county. So staff figured that was a good place to start as in this structure is large enough that it requires a, berm a permit through the county Therefore, it's large enough that we could have a demolition permit for that. So that's the basis of the 200 feet. It's tied to the requirement for the building permit from the county. Um, also, just some general um, requirements in terms of, you know, don't leave walls half standing. Um, liability insurance, if, if, if required, just because if you're in the old village, you're going to have buildings that are close together. If you're built, if you're taking down a barn out and there's nothing around, that liability sh insurance may not be required. So there is a provision in here that, because of the the different characteristics of the city, that some of these provisions <coughs> may not be required in some places. So it gives the city administrator their designee the ability to waive certain requirements for just cause shown. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Anything for Scott? And I appreciate you sending out all that stuff on the demo. I think that was last week, wasn't it? Or was it Scott? The link to it? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to mention that these, <coughs> this code amendment is scheduled for a first, he or first reading this evening under Ordinance 2017-4288. That's all I have, Mayor. Okay. Um, any public comments uh, pertaining to this code amendment application? Okay, seeing none, I'll uh, take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Mrs. Carter. Second. Seconded by Mr. Barstow. Discussion? Roll. Cal? Yes. Barstow? Yes. 
Lee? Yes. Hicken? Yes. Walter? Yes. Carter? Yes. Okay, public hearing is adjourned. Next meeting in five minutes. We got you on the move tonight, Kathy.